Hi, my name is Kurt Holst. I work with SAP in the Global Predictive Services team. And I will guide you through an end-to-end -end predictive model building using a, a real data case with the, the intention to predict the wine quality. So let's see uh, what we have in store for you here. This is the, the brief agenda here. Um, I will first start by showing you where you actually already encounter predictive analytics today. And I will give a brief introduction to what is so special about predictive analytics in SAP. I will give you a live demo, as I just mentioned, uh, with an end-to-end -end scenario using a, a real data set where we have about 1,600 bottles of wine. And based on that, I will train my predictive model looking at those uh, patterns. And then I will set those uh, this trained machine learning model lose on new bonds and of course try to predict the quality there and see if I can make some good bar bargains. And of course uh, this uh, this scenario could be applied to many other scenarios such as uh, uh, preventing fraud, uh, predicting uh, utilization, uh, predicting failures in machinery and so on. So there's a lot of business cases but I'm using this one and it, it's a public data set that you can actually apply to them. Once we have trained our model, we could also uh, embed the predictive analytic model inside, for instance, uh, our SAP HANA, allowing uh, external BI tools such as the Dashboard Designer, Design Studio, Web Intelligence, and so forth, to reuse the trained model so that a lot more people could actually uh, benefit from having the trained advanced analytic code model than just a, a, a little more advanced users that you need to be in order to use our uh, SAP predictive analytics. Okay, okay so uh, let's get started. As mentioned, uh, this is a real data set where we will be looking at a real uh, case. We have a data set of uh, 12 different uh, measures, uh, all the way from uh, fixed acidity, uh, pH value, sulfates, alcohol percent, and of course, what we're actually trying to build a model that can predict the quality of the wine. But firstly, where do you actually encounter predictive analytics today? Maybe even now, noticing it. Well, uh, firstly, I'm sure you have probably bought a book on Amazon, for instance, and once you go to, uh, to that site and you click your way through and you actually find the book, they often have a recommendation for you uh, where they think that uh, based on other people's purchases, you might also be interested in this, and they usually have a good bargain there. And behind the scenes, uh, normally what they could be using is affinity analysis, meaning it's a known uh, algorithm that can actually see what are the patterns when you buy this kind of uh, book. You, you, other, other people have, have been buying this kind of book. The same goes for, for Netflix, uh, your recommendations there. You, you, Let's say you wanted to rent a movie and you go in there and you might get some additional recommendation based on uh, the trained model that they have applied there. And I have, have a few other examples here and you might remember a, a case where, where Target was in the media. Uh, they were apparently were trying to predict the uh, pregnancy and based on on the, the cash register receipts plus the email of the uh, customer there, Apparently, they were able to predict uh, some pregnancy, and they did so in a young, uh, very young lady. And there was a lot of uproar, whether it's a true case or not. Mm, there's some debate on that on the net. But uh, one of the ideas on this is, of course, if you could predict pregnancy, you would have uh, definitely had some uh, revenue that you could bring to the table. Let's get on. Uh, so, what is what is the predictive analytics market currently? Um, you might have heard that McKinsey actually forecast that there will be about between 140 to 190,000 unfilled jobs simply because the skills in, the, in, the, in this area isn't there. And I think SAP is actually bringing something very really interesting to the table here. In my view, we are lowering the bar of complexity using our predictive analysis tool with all infinity insights for that matter. And uh, so looking at, for instance, LinkedIn, you see and I analyzed it, they published a few years back, and there was uh, the growth in data science jobs, so offerings for, for candidates. 
looking at the uh, Gartner's uh, view on both BI and CPM suites and advanced analytics, advanced analytics actually was the area that grew the most, 12.5%, compared to a total average of 79 so, what is so special about SAP predictive analytics? I have here shown uh, some screen dumps from our predictive analysis tool that is piggybacking on Lumia. So, uh, we, it has the uh, stunning graphics, stunning visualization capabilities. So, as you can visualize, you can get a better data understanding just by using uh, SAP predictive analysis. Plus, of course, that is where the value is. It has a lot of pre built in predictive modeling functionality such as classification, regression, clustering, and all these interesting things that we need to apply to our different data sets in order to gain real business value. And if this is not enough, we uh, are actually capable of using the R language, uh, embedding R specific models inside predictive analysis. It's quite easy, actually. There's a few uh, articles describing how you can leverage uh, open uh, source of R libraries and add additional algorithms to your predictive analysis. And of course, if you have SAP HANA, then, I mean, everything comes together. You have the uh, wonderful visualization capabilities of predictive analysis. You have the ease of use of how you add the uh, algorithms to your data. And then you will have HANA to facilitate the in-memory, in-database, tremendous power of performance by actually processing your your complex uh, data mining algorithms inside HANA. So, leaving that, going back to our end-to-end -end demo, I will now uh, use predictive analysis to predict the wine quality. And these are, again, to get a little data understanding. Here you see the different measures that I have. And I will, of course, be interested in looking at the quality. As mentioned before, it's actually a case that uh, is already quite well described. It was modeling wine preferences by data mining. In this case, we call it data mining quick analytics, but the same thing. And there is an article out there, so um, let's try if we can replicate that in an easy way in our SAP quick analysis tool, which I will start now. I'm now opening a predictive analysis. It's an internal uh, lab release, so it might be very different when it comes up to general availability. And of course, what I will be presenting here is only my own views. There's no uh, additional things behind it. But here we go. Here we have SAP predictive analysis. And I would like to start by acquiring my data. And here you see the, the exactly the, the normal flow you have in a complete end-to-end -end predictive analysis case. I will acquire my data. And as I mentioned before, we can actually connect directly to HANA. We could also download the data from HANA. Connecting directly to HANA, of course, gives us the possibility of having a tremendous power of HANA with millions of records and so on. If I had already had, had a business subjects enterprise release, and I might even use Universe, then I could easily leverage that capability and be working with predictive analysis on top of those universes. Or it could also be freehand uh, SQL, so any ODBC speaking uh, language is there. But I just have my uh, data locally here. So I will acquire now my wine data, my known wine data. I see them here, just as we saw in the slide before. I have my quality indicator. So let's acquire these data. So data are now acquired, and I can actually do some kind of pre-study uh, data understanding using uh, the same capabilities that I have in Lumio. So I will start by visualizing just a single one. I would like to visualize uh, alcohol and quality together. Simply adding those. And I would like to visualize those in a scatter chart. Scatter plot. And instead of having a, a summary, I would like just to see them plotted as they were actually in the data. So I will ask a predictive analysis not to show any summary, just simply removing those. So here we go. Here we have our quality of the wine alcohol percent of the wine, and if you look carefully, you might see there's some kind of correlation between a higher percent of alcohol and the quality. But let's see how our predictive models actually look at these data. So I go to the predict tab. From the predict tab, I see that I have my data here, and I would like now to add my algorithms. I could also do kind of some kind of data to and so on and so on. In this case, 
a simply want to add some to this, which is very easy in Preclari. I simply double click. I now added uh, infinite insight classification algorithm. As you might know, SAP acquired uh, KXDN, which has the famous algorithm for, um, for classification. But at the same time, I would actually like also to add a uh, decision tree algorithm. So as you can see here, it's very simple to add algorithms. You just need to go in and configure them. And what I will do here, I have my features, my, my driving indicator that I will add, and my target variable being my quality. Done. That's it. And I will do the same for my decision tree. So I can see how they are performing. And here we go. So, and I'm all done. As you can see, you have a small check mark. It will copy to in green once I have run it. So now I will actually apply my data to these two different algorithms. They will actually in a moment show me some interesting results. There we go. Let's go to the visualization part. As you see here, it has now added another column, which is the predict column. And of course I could go in and see what are what is actually the math behind this? In this case, I'm happy to say that there are different ways of actually doing this. And one of them is, of course, to show in a confusion matrix how well is my model actually predicting. As you see, for instance, here, uh, my model predicted about 68% of true cases for the uh, wine quality buy. And going uh, looking uh, further here, you see actually it's it's quite decent if you look at this line. This is where the actuals and the predicted align. It's a decent model. And now I would like to show this one in a decision tree. Decision trees are very good for discussion with, for instance, the business. And as you can see here, the first split, so called split, shows you the main driving indicator in my data. And it is actually the alcohol percent, which I find quite interesting. The next level, if you have alcohol percent above at 10.5, it does. It is the sulfur uh, that's added, or that's in the wine that's the uh, next driving indicator. And I could also go in and see if we have 64 bottles at uh, with a quality of eight, and so on. So now I want to look at how Infinite Insight actually did the Infinite Insight classification model. It, as we saw before, it has now predicted, and this one is a bi-variant prediction. So I actually added another column for making uh, Infinite Insight. As you are something. So now I will show you how Infinite Insight, Insight, uh, predictive analysis actually allows us to get a deeper understanding of our data. As you can see here, again, the main driving indicator of uh, a high quality of wine is alcohol content, then you have the sulfur and the volatile uh, acidity, and so on. So this gives you a tremendous power in understanding the data. Furthermore, Infinite Insight. Uh, algorithm also shows you your your game chart. How well is my model performing? So let's say I own, and I wanted to do a marketing campaign or something like that. Let's say I wanted to take the first 20% customers. How many would I actually hit? I would actually hit about uh, let's see 40 let uh, around 40% of my customers that would be interested in upselling, up buying, and and so on. But for this case. We are good. I have now built two different models, and uh, let's say I would like to use my decision tree to predict on my new bottle. I will save my model, predict in wine. That's good. So now I will see that I have a new model inside predictive analyzer. Here it is. And I will go to my prepare tab where I can add a new data set. From here, I will add my new wine. As you can see here, at my new wines, let me just uh, add um, the column here. So uh, my first column is my name. As you see here, I don't have the quality column that I had before on my known data. So this is my unknown quality. I just have the chemical tests here. So let's go in here and look how that can, how, how my trained model can be applied to this data. So here we go with our new bottle and I will now add my trained model onto my new one. Looking at it, it automatically detects which one to actually link together if 
I had a different naming convention, or maybe I had a spelling error or something in my data, uh, then I could go in here and uh, link them as I would like. But that's it. I'm good. I would like to say on my trained machine trained model on my new data. And let's see how it looks. It gives me a new column, exactly as I had hoped, and I see the different wine qualities that can predict. And of course, I can now, I could, uh, I can now uh, add another, for instance, a data writer where I would like to export my data. I could also add a filter so only give me the wines with quality eight and less than, uh, and uh, and less than uh, thirty, uh, whatever currency we are dealing with. Here. So I go into here and I would like to uh, save my data. I could call this one predicting predicting wines. 2014, enter, and I would like to have a comma column separator, for instance, as a semicolon. That's it. I'm good. I will run my model, and it will now export my data, which I have here on my predicting wine. Here we go. Let's open this one. Here I see my data now. I see the predicted values. I see the producer. I see the wine. And you're actually good to go. So that was an end-to-end -end predictive model where we train a model on known data, we set it loose on unknown data, and you didn't get a predicted value. What I actually did, I added the different uh, indicators. I saw how they each and individually were actually con contributing. I saw the game chart. I saw my decision tree. I saw the complexity that we are sort of removing simply by adding drag and drop functionality in a visualized way. I show, showed you the decision, uh, how well it was actually predicting. I saw here the confusion matrix, quite good. I saved my model and then I could add it on, on new data. And you're actually also able to do this by yourself if you would like. You can find the data uh, at this link at uh, the University of California where you see uh, the wine quality data. And of course, you can get a free trial of the SAP predictive analysis at this site. That's actually what I wanted to show you. And if you just take a brief moment, so just looking at how we actually did this, we used predictive analysis to get a business understanding, or we need to qualify by the mind, data understanding, we prepared the data a bit, then we did some modeling, and then we saved the model we went in, applied it to another data set. There could be many other predictive use cases. I've just listed a few here. If you wanted to enhance your model, and uh, say you would like to use uh, embedded analytics, then you would actually also be able to do that simply by saving your model back to HANA. And HANA would then facilitate your embedded analytic model that you trained yourself, your, your sort of equation that you built. And then you could add, let's say, uh, any BI client, uh, at, 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 at least that I know. For instance, our dashboard designer designs to here with intelligence. We would then be able to build the uh, stunning uh, graphical capabilities and still utilizing the advanced analytics that we have now built, predicting wines or predicting whatever is interesting for in your line of business. And if you would like to uh, start working together, I am. Uh, Within the SAP Predictive Services team, I help customers implement predictive analysis, predictive uh, solutions. In an end-to-end, -end, I give training. So let me know if you're interested. There's my details.